House of Color Candy Brandy Wine on your motorcycle. I'll show you how to do it. Howdy folks, Troy with Three Twins the V8s. Today we're going to do a little motorcycle project I got going on. We're going to paint these Harley Davidson tins and we're going to paint them with House of Color and we're going to use uh, Candy Brandy Wine is going to be our outcome. So we're going to use um, we're going to follow this system. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to lay down some silver sealer. We're going to follow it up with a uh, base of uh, Orion silver. And then we're going to use House of Colors KBC01, which is a candy base coat. So it's candy, but it has some body to it. So it's not really what people would call a true candy. But what I really like about it is, A, it's easy to spray, and my most favorite part is, it's very easy to re-repair. So if anything happens, it's very easy to match. You pretty much take it out, spray it, and it's going to match your original color. With true candies, every, every coat changes the color. So if you put three coats of base on, it's, it's this color. If you put five on it, it's darker. If you put eight on it, it's even darker. If you put two on it, it's lighter. Every time you put a coat on, it changes the color. So unless you keep track of how many coats you put on and you spray it the same way, it's very, very hard to match a color. So I like using KVC because it's easy, it doesn't model as much, it doesn't streak. So that's what we're going to be using today. And then we'll follow it up with uh, some USC 01 uh, Urethane Show Clear. And then we'll let that dry, we'll sand it down, and we'll do a flow coat on it in a few days after it's hardened up. So let's get to it. Before we get started on our project, I just wanted to go through some things that you will need to do this project, okay? So obviously you will need a spray gun. You don't need a real expensive spray gun. Um, I've seen nice paint work done with a Harbor Freight gun and um, also nice paint work done with a super expensive gun. The gun that I use is a uh, Devilbus. This is a Tecna Pro Light, it's an expensive gun. I have other guns that I use. I've got the Vilbus finish line guns, starting line guns. I got a generic gun that I use for primer. Whatever works, just make sure it's clean and ready and test it, your spray patterns and everything before you go. Other things you'll need. Lacquer thinner is your cleanup. You'll need a paint stick. You will need a mixing cup it's best if you have one with graduations on it like this. So with the graduated mixing cup, as you can see, it has graduations on it for your individual parts. You need a respirator. I got a 3M respirator, a disposable, that's the way to go. I would recommend some gloves, nitrile gloves, a uh, tack cloth. So now we'll get into um, the actual preparation and mixing of each product in the step. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to clean all of our surface with some KC10 pre-cleaner. I will wash this down and then I will dry it and I will continue this all around the parts. And uh, once all the parts are done, then we'll work on mixing up some sealer and we'll put the sealer down. You will need some SS01 silver sealer. That is activated with KU-152, okay? The ratio for this is six parts of the SS-01 sealer to one part of the KU-152. That is not reduced, so that's all you need. Six parts, one part, stir it up, lay it down. So you put your first coat down as just a medium coat, or what we like to call a tack coat. Don't get super aggressive, just put a nice even coat down. Let that flash for about 15 or 20 minutes. Then you can come back on it with two more medium wet coats. Not super wet, like you're trying to lay down clear, and not dry like you're trying to like, you know, just dust something on. Just a nice medium wet coat. 15 minutes between coats, then you let it dry. I like to let it dry for about 30 minutes.
we've got our uh, project is all covered in the uh, the SSO1 silver sealer. As you can see it right here, it looks, I think it looks pretty damn good. I mean, coverage is nice. It looks good. I don't have any problems. I'm loving it. That's great. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to apply some Orion silver over the top of this this particular silver because it's more vibrant and it'll give the candy brandy wine a, a real metallic pop underneath. So we're going to get that mixed up and then I'll throw the helmet cam on and we'll uh, we'll shoot this one more time. Okay, so now in a perfect world you've laid down your your um, SSO one silver sealer. While that's drying, you clean out your gun with your lacquer thinner and you get ready to do your Orion silver. So we're going to take our SSO1 and we're going to put that over on the side because that's done. And then we're going to have our BC02 Orion Silver Metallic. This stuff is fantastic. If you like silver, you're going to love this. If you just want to spray something silver, this stuff is phenomenal. It has so much sparkle to it, it's insane. But what this is going to do is when we put this down, and we put our candy on top of it, the sparkle from this is gonna shine through that candy. So your candy color is translucent. It's like a pair of, say, rose-colored sunglasses that you're gonna look through down into this. So it'll give it that sparkle. So uh, without more propping up the Orion Silver about how much I like it, basically you'll get into the mixing. So Orion Silver is going to be two parts of Orion Silver, to one part of your reducer. Now there's three reducers in the system. There's RU310, which is a cool reducer up to about 75 degrees. RU311, which is 75 to 85, and RU312, which is for when it's really hot out. So if you live someplace where it's super hot, like you know, out in the desert somewhere or wherever it's crazy hot out, you want to use a slow reducer. Most of us are gonna probably want to use RU311 because we're going to spray, I like to spray a right around 75 degrees. You can use 310, it might flash a little too fast, and, and especially in the silvers, if it flashes too fast, it doesn't have a chance to really settle out. Silvers, candies, whatever, you're going to want it to flow out so all those flakes and everything lay down nice and even. So I'd recommend RU311. So two parts of Orion Silver, one part uh, RU311, you mix it up and have at it. So, same scenario as with the, um, the sealer. You're gonna lay down a medium coat, then you're gonna let it flash for about 10, 15 minutes, and then you're gonna lay down two more coats.
Okay, so now we have our Orion Silver all laid down on our pieces. I'll give you a view. Here's our fender. You can see it is a little bit more brilliant, but it'll really it's really gonna come to life when I put this uh, when I put this candy base coat on here. So there's the the fuel tank. The fender, and then here is the rear fender. Okay, so now we're going to mix up our uh, candy base coat. This here is what it looks like. I'll give you a little preview. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so our Orion Silver has been laid down. We've let it dry for about 30 minutes. It's dry to the touch. So now we're going to get into our candy. So for this particular job, all the KBC colors are going to be the same. I happen to be using KBC01, which is Candy Brandywine. There's a multitude of colors, but the KBC is the easiest of the candies to use because it's a candy, but it's a base coat. True candies are candy concentrate, and they are more difficult to spray and get even coverage and even color on. Uh, everywhere you overlap will be a little bit darker than where you didn't overlap and it makes it very hard to re-repair anything you've sprayed with true candy. So if you've got something that you know you're worried about you might get a scratch or a chip or something and you want to you might want to re-repair that I would recommend the KBC. It's just easier. So anyways without any more of that. So we got KBC01 and we're gonna mix this the same way we mixed our Orion Silver. So we're gonna use two parts of that and one part of the RU311. We're gonna mix that up, we'll tack down our Orion Silver, make sure all of our uh, dust is off of that, and we'll go ahead and apply the KBC. They recommend three to four coats. Usually for me, three coats gives me pretty good coverage. The more coats you put on, the more, the darker the color will tend to be. So I would recommend three coats. Some people do four. Um, if you do less, the color will be lighter and you'll see more of that silver. You'll notice when I spray it that the first coat, it's almost got like a, like a pink, pink color to it because you're really seeing that silver through it. And then as I lay each progressing coat, it gets darker and darker until we're done. And it's got kind of like that dark cherry look to it. So anyways, the trick to the whole KBC thing is the same deal. First coat is a medium wet coat. Your overlap, you want to be about 75%. So what that means is if your spray pattern is say, let's say your spray pattern is a, um, say 10 inches, then you're gonna to wanna to overlap by two and a half inches. So you have a lot of overlap. So 75% of your spray pattern is overlapping every single time. That gives you some nice even coverage. You'll see it in my spraying and I really kind of tend to spray like that anyways. Uh, unless, you know, for some reason I want to back off and spray something light, but with candy, you got to kind of stick with the program. So three to four coats on there, let it dry for at least 30 minutes, and then you'll be ready to move on to the clear.
so we're back here on our project. We got our base coat, candy base coat laid down over our silver. This is what it looks like. I think it's looking pretty sexy. So the next thing we're going to do is we are going to lay down our USC01, our custom show clear. We're going to put down three coats of that. So I'll get it mixed up and uh, we'll get at it and I'll show you what it looks like with the helmet cam. We're on it. All right, so we got our candy all laid down. It's flashed off and dried for about 30 minutes. So we will no longer need our KBC01. We are going to move to our USC01 show clear. We're going to use that and we're going to use KU152 activator, catalyst, and of course RU311. Now the mixture for this setup is three parts of the clear, one part of the activator, one part of the reducer. You're going to mix that up, tap your area off lay down your first coat is going to be a medium wet coat nice and even not super heavy let it tack up um, they recommend about 15 to 20 minutes between coats which is a great rule of thumb but I go a little bit further and you'll see uh, you know the master John Kosmoski the house of color inventor he tells you to go hand slick so what you want to do is find a spot on, you know, check your masking paper areas or tape and you want it to be hand slick there. Um, areas that you are probably not going to see once your project is reassembled, you could touch those areas. I use the back of my finger and just kind of brush it along. If it's sticky, you don't want to put your next coat on. If you can just brush that along and it's nice and slick and feels slippery, then you know you're ready to go. Make sure that all of your pieces are like that. Some, some people have great airflow and a, maybe a spray booth of, you know, 50 grand or whatever, you know, a high tech spray booth where you're not going to have that problem. But regular people might have some fans, some exhaust fans and some heaters that blow air over the surface and you might end up with a situation where you have uneven temperature on your parts. So some areas may be dry and then maybe off in the corner or down low or something it might be cold. Be aware of that because this clear dries slowly and flows out. It's beautiful material but when you lay it down it will move for a while. So if you put it on too heavy or some of your areas aren't quite dry or they're not quite warm enough, you're going to end up with a sag or a run. And it just sucks. We can deal with that at another time. I can show you how to sand those out, polish them out. But for right now, let's work on not getting any of those. So we're going to, we're going to lay down a medium wet coat. We're going to let it tack. We're going to let it get hand slick. Then we're going to come on with another full wet coat is what we call it. So in other words, you're going to kind of lean into it a little bit. You're going to put, you're going to make sure when you lay that down, it's wet. And you got some nice 75% overlap. You're moving fast. You got a nice fine spray on your gun. You got a nice wide fan. You'll watch me do it. I am, I'm moving. I like to do, I like to move like that. You'll see a lot of other guys move pretty quick. Lots of overlap with a fine mist and moving fast. What you get is you get a nice, even, wet coat and it's nice and wet and all of your little droplets that have atomized melt back into each other nicely. Once again, let it sit 20 minutes. Check and see if your hand's slick. If you are, then go for it. Go for your, your third and final coat. If you aren't, just wait. Wait until it's ready, okay? 20 minutes is a good, good rule of thumb, but hand slick is really the true test. So then you put your third coat down, the same as you put your second coat down, full wet coat, and then once that's down, walk away. You're done. Don't, don't mess with it. 
People go back and they're like, well, this looks a little dry here, there, and they start shooting little spots and stuff. Don't, don't do that because what's going to happen is you're going to put too much paint in that area and you're going to end up with a sag or a run and you're going to regret it. You're better off to have a little bit of a dry area and you can come back, you can sand it, polish it out, and it'll be fine. So then once you're done, clean your gun out with lacquer thinner and the project is complete.
there we are. It's done. Third and final coat's on. It's going to flow out. We'll see what it looks like tomorrow. I'll show you what it looks like now. So there you have it. Um, we've walked you through the entire process from stem to stern, sealers, Orion Silver, Candy Brandywine, Cosmic Clear. Um, the job's done, it looks fantastic. Um, hopefully you watch my video walk around where everything is done. I let my project sit generally um, a week to two weeks. If I can, it's winter time here, it's a motorcycle, obviously we're not going to be riding it, so it's great. I'll let it sit for a couple weeks, then I'll sand it and polish it out. I'll put a link up above to a video on all about sanding and polishing, you might want to watch that. Please go down in the comments below and let me know how you make out. If you think the video was good, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Let me know what you liked or didn't like in the comments below. Also in the description will be the links for everything you need um, to do this project. Uh, if you could use my links, I'd appreciate it. It kind of helps me out financially. I don't get rich off of it, but it takes the edge off of all the time I spent. So once again, thanks for tuning in. Good luck on your project.